Welcome to the second training movie in the Coral Finder Toolkit training movie series. My name is Russell Kelly, and I'll be guiding you on your journey through the wonderful world of coral identification. You may have found some other introductory movies floating around on the web, but if you intend to complete the Coral Finder Toolkit training module, you will need to view these numbered Coral Finder training movies in series. You can view these movies in the Coral Hub Learning Center at www.coralhub.info forward slash learn. Just go to the Learning Center Index page to view training movies aimed at making the basics of coral identification easy to grasp. The movies are the copyright and property of the Coral Identification Capacity Building Program, and you are welcome to use these movies for non-commercial training purposes. A DVD of the movies is available from the Coral Identification Capacity Building Program for the cost of postage and handling. The Coral Finder is an easy-to-use plastic book that makes coral identification easy to learn above and below water. The free training resources at the Coral Hub are designed to help the individual to self-learn or teach others. When combined with Coral Finder workshops, it is possible to rapidly train motivated people in the skills necessary for coral identification. The techniques we will show you in these movies are unashamedly practical and designed to get a result quickly. If you follow up with field sessions using the Coral Finder and use the free resources available at the Coral Hub, you will quickly advance your coral identification skills from beginner to intermediate level. While advanced species level coral ID can be difficult to grasp, this approach will give you the foundation that makes it possible. Once you have the basics under control, the secret is then more time in the water. And a final word before we get started. These movies assume that you have a coral finder in your hot little hand, and that you have read its how to use and glossary pages. It also assumes that you have internet access to the coral hub. While I will endeavour to explain all the terms used as we proceed, you will be able to find anything that you are unclear of here at www.coralhub.info forward slash terms. Okay, let's do this. So why do hard corals have the reputation of being difficult to identify? Well, it's not for want of good resources. The foundation for the interested person to teach themselves coral identification has been possible since the publication of Charlie Veron's epic three-volume treatise, Corals of the World. But for some reason, that understanding and potential remains locked up. Why? At the heart of the problem is the way the information about coral identification is stored and organised. Obviously, you cannot take a three-volume paper book underwater. But the root of the problem is deeper than that. Even if you could take the book diving, the information itself is not arranged in a way divers can use where it matters. Underwater. The heart of the problem is the nature of hard corals themselves. They are shapeshifters. That means they can change shape in response to the environment they live in. This is what drives people nuts trying to learn coral identification and it is why the Coral Finder was created. On screen is just some of the variation shown by a single species of coral known as Isopora polyphora. On screen now is the variation shown by several species in the genus Hydnophora. The take home message here is that pattern searching, the tried and tested way that humans learn things, is not always useful with corals at least not at a coarse scale. To give a topside example, if I were to say the word eagle to you, 
a fairly accurate mental image would form in your mind. It would be eagle-like. That is because all eagles tend to look and sound eagle-like. But when I say coral, or hard coral, there is no such simple collective mental image. What this means is that at the classification level of genus, corals show a much greater range of physical variation than eagles. Some key points to remember here. A coral species can take many forms depending on the environment it lives in. A coral genus is a collection of species and therefore contains all the variation possible in all of its species. Corals of the World is an amazing three-volume publication that captures and documents the environmental variation shown by around 800 species of coral. But herein lies the problem. You cannot take it underwater. But what if you could? Would that solve the problem? No. That's because its content is arranged by concepts of scientific classification, which is not how you find corals underwater. The Coral Finder provides a solution to this problem by translating what you find underwater into the formal body of scientific knowledge that waits for you topside. It's okay if you cannot access a copy of Corals of the World. That is why I have created the Coral Hub, which lets you explore and confirm your Coral Finder results via a web browser anywhere in the world. Ultimately, the Coral Identification Capacity Building Program looks forward to creating a coral identification community of people dedicated to helping and training each other worldwide. The purpose of the Coral Finder is to take the confusion and chaos out of the coral identification process. It creates a learning pathway via the Coral Hub that lets anyone teach themselves the basics of Coral ID. Once you have the basics, you will find that every dive becomes a powerful learning experience and suddenly high-quality genus-level coral ID is within your grasp. Once you have mastered the identification of coral genera, regardless of their growth form or variation, you will have the capacity to deliver more reliable, consistent survey data. And from there, the door is open to species-level identification. In the next movie, we will meet the coral animal itself and learn what we need to know about corals in order to use the Coral Finder to maximum benefit.